how to view pre-algebra assessment scores on Active Pulse. To find assessment scores, you'll use the Scores and Reports tab, and we'll drop down to Active Pulse Math. From here, you're going to use the tabs in the middle of the screen to view the pre-algebra scores. I'm hovering over pre-algebra 1 to 5, and the next tab is pre-algebra 6 through 14. These tabs have been divided out into basic math scores as well as pre-algebra scores. So let's go ahead and review the pre-algebra 1 to 5. Here you'll see this works very similarly to all of the tabs under Active Pulse Math. You'll have the student's first name, last name, grade, test log, progress monitoring are always available, when they were last assessed, their raw scores here, listed here, and their basic math skills score, which is a zero to five. Now, as you're hovering over each of the columns, you can see exactly what subtest we're viewing. For example, right now we're viewing integer operations. As I'm viewing these scores, you will see they are color-coded with a percentage. Green is indicating mastery of that subtest. You do see in some cases there are lower than um, 100. You can see that indicated here, but they still receive mastery of that subtest. The yellow indicates partial mastery, so I'm also viewing a partial mastery score. And red, if I scroll a little further down, indicates non-mastery. At any time, if you need a reminder on that, the score legend is on the bottom left, where it indicates mastery of construct, partial mastery, and non-mastery. So again, as we're viewing up, you continue to look across the top. Now we're looking at fraction operations. I can see all of the scores listed here. Underneath each subtest, you can sort. So I can view from low to high. I see certain students were not tested in pre-algebra. And my first student listed here did not show mastery. So that's at a 50%. But I can continue to view my student scores who have um, mastered that. And you can see that indicated in green below. I can go back and filter by last name and view my class list in alphabetical order. Now to the far right, you will see a subtest for reading screener. This is opened up if a student has, it's indicated in some of those initial subtests that perhaps reading could be a confound for the student. And so they'll be given a fifth grade reading passage. If you see that letters NT, that indicates it was not opened up for that student, so they didn't receive a score. If we scroll down here to Aaron Dixon, I see they were given the screener and they received 80%. So again, this is giving you more of a view on the student to see if perhaps that might be an issue where they're having um, some difficulty approaching some of the text that's written into um, math at the pre-algebra level. To the far right-hand side, we also have the math facts timed and math facts untimed scores. Again, these are only opened up if it's determined by the computer adaptive logic in some of the initial subtests that these should be open. In many cases, you will see NT listed there. As you continue to scroll down, I can see here, this student, the math facts screener was open and they received 100% on both the timed and untimed. So that's again, giving you a view to see if that might be an indicator um, you know, on how students are understanding those math facts. As we continue to move on, we're gonna move to the pre-algebra tab. Here, all of the subtests that make up pre-algebra, you'll notice I'm scrolling across the top, simplifying expressions, coordinate graphing, linear functions, and so forth. Again, same way you interpret the scores. I see a partial uh, mastery here for evaluating exponents for my first student listed. And again, I'm able to see mastery very easily with the green. I can filter if I'd like to sort at any time by selecting the arrows below the subtest and sort my students along understanding or uh, evaluating exponents. Certain students weren't given the assessments and then I can see who is progressing through that subtest. So again, to find the pre-algebra scores, you're gonna drop down to scores and reports, active pulse math, and from here, you're going to find the pre-algebra 
1 through 5 and pre-algebra 6 through 14 with all of the scores available and listed for you to view. Thank you.